U.S. Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick, a lying in honor. You can see officers there paying their respects. Sicknick died from injuries sustained in the violent riot on January 6th in Washington, D.C. Congressional leaders held a tribute earlier, and you were, you're looking at a live picture right now of fellow officers gathered at the Capitol Rotunda now, and we have uh, coverage happening there on this somber tribute from Capitol Hill. America, America. Friends and family joined lawmakers in a ceremony paying tribute to U.S. Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick. Still our hearts, O oh God, in this moment, as overwhelmed as we are with grief, shock, uncertainty, even anger, and all the other emotions that invade this hallowed occasion. Sicknick's family says it was always his dream to become a police officer. The 42-year-old joined the Capitol Police in 2008 after serving in the military. Brian was a peacekeeper who loved his dogs and his girlfriend Sandra and his family and the New Jersey Devils. He was caught in the wrong place at the wrong time and a day, on a day when peace was shattered. Sicknick died from his injuries after a violent mob stormed the Capitol on January 6th. So far, there have been no arrests in his killing. An urn carrying his remains lay in honor in the very building he died defending. Our promise to Brian's family is that we will never forget his sacrifice. President Biden and the First Lady paid their respects Tuesday night. Officer Sicknick is being laid to rest in a private ceremony at Arlington National Cemetery. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Capitol Hill.